Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 in the lab video. This time we're going to be looking at Geras. Geras? I think it's Geras, that's how they said it in the story. So he's a newcomer, he's kind of like Kronika as a sidekick. Kronika of course being the main villain. He is pretty cool. Very interesting character, he was shown pretty extensively in the early release of the game, uh, before the game came out. He wasn't in the, in the beta, which is a little bit strange, but yeah, I'm gonna be taking a look at him. He seems interesting to me, kind of a grappler, but he has like full screen grabs, uh, sort of like, yeah, that's the one. It's not even a grab, it's a low. So he has like some interesting full screen options. Kind of reminds me of Swamp Thing, but hopefully him having a weird kind of full screen attack is where the similarities end because Swamp Thing was fucking awful in Injustice 2, so yeah, let's have a look at him. And his walk speed again is decent, probably the same as Shao Kahn. This guy is also a big body, so yeah, he takes up a lot of space. One, two, three, four all highs, okay. Decent down too, kind of has like a tremor arm on it. He also is similar to tremor. Yeah, even that, like, this is straight up a tremor low. Uh, and then like a little... Oh, that's mid? Oh, that's very interesting. I can't think of other characters who have mid down threes. Weird. Let's just have a look at the forwards and the backwards. He has no back one. That's forward one mid, advancing mid. Oh, that's good. So he has, okay, sweep. What the hell is he doing? That is a, <laughs> that is the most NRS animation I've ever seen. What the fuck is he even doing? Gonna have to slow that down. All right, so he actually has a decent amount of mids, which is good. Oh yeah, let's look at jumping. Ha, <laughs> that's funny, kind of like a half body slam. He just chills in the air, that's a, Man, these NRS animations, I swear to god. And they have gotten a lot better with this game. Uh, it's like... It's like way better. There we go. Yeah, okay. Classic short hop. Classic short hop attacks. Alright, let's have a look at these strings. Holy shit, that's a lot of ones. One, one... Wait, one, one, one. You have to dial them in. Okay, yeah. I've seen this before when I was playing the story. The one-two punch. Or just one-one punch. That's very dark side-ish. Alright, so wait, is that a grab at the end? Well, I guess it is, because you can only... Oh, it's a low. Interesting. There's no way that comes out on block, does it? Uh, let's have a look. Let's have stance block. Nah, that doesn't come out, so it might as well be an unblockable, because it's not going to matter, is it? Alright, forward one, two, okay. Yeah, that's, I remember this move. They showed this off quite a bit in early release. Side switch, kind of like, can she had a similar move? But that's very good, because it starts off of this, and this move, I mean, look at how, look at how far that advances. One of the things you always want to look for in a character is... A strong advancing mid. If you have an attack that's mid and it goes like this far, that's gonna be a good character. I mean, when I showed Shao Kahn earlier, that's one of the things he was lacking. A move like this. Alright, it looks like he has two follow-ups. Oh, he can continue. Okay, that's good that he has an ender to this. I'm liking that. Alright. 1-4. What the? <laughs> Quite a low attack. Yeah, that's his... One of his special moves. I haven't looked at his special moves, but we'll get to that later. What was the finisher to it? Oh, okay. So that's a low overhead. That's pretty good. Gonna be a tricky one to block. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just have a look at the frame data on some of these moves. So 111, negative 7 on block, so okay, decent, kind of safe. Unsafe, unsafe. 
that's safe, but that's another one of those moves that doesn't come out on block, does it? I'll check it out in a bit. Interesting. Both of these are safe. It starts off a high though, but it looks like this is going to be a pretty important string to him because he advances forward quite a bit. And as I said, again, with Shao Kahn, you can get away with uh, starting with a high if the move advances forward this much because you can be at this distance and just go. All right. No combo, of course, which makes sense. All right. Uh-huh. So he does. This guy has a lot of good mids. Wow. And see, this is what I'm talking about. I don't want to make early judgments on characters because the game hasn't been out long enough. But look at what tools this guy has and look at what tools Shao Kahn had when I tried him earlier. Shao Kahn had none of this. Like, this is exactly what he's missing. Uh, these type of mids, like this, this, holy shit, this guy is way better. All right. It's not safe on block though, it's all good. All right, forward 2-1 and forward 2-1-2. Two, two. Yeah, this is also really good. Probably leads to a full combo in the corner. Just have a quick look at that. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, just something very basic, yeah. This is a full combo on corner. That's very good because this is safe. Like, a safe advancing mid combo starter in the corner is exactly what you're looking for if you want a good character. Oh, wait, was I looking at? No, 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 I wasn't. Okay, and this is the other one, the low. Kind of a weird attack. Unsafe, of course. Oh, and he has... Holy shit. He doesn't step on his balls, does he? No, he doesn't do a king. No, he steps on the knee. Damn, I thought he still straight up pulled a king from Tekken 7. Okay, that's very good because, again, well, I guess you can block it on both. But still, both of these strings are hella good. Hold on. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look at his special moves because I have no idea what I'm doing. And finally... Oh, that's also good. I mean, just look at this. Look at how far that travels. I mean, Scorpion has something similar. But damn. All his moves seem pretty damn good. Oh yeah, one thing I never mentioned is that you can highlight moves. Uh, this one... Uh, a lot of his strings are good. This one... Yeah, probably these are the strings you want. Uh, yep. Adva I cannot believe he has an advancing mid this good. Two of them, in fact. Three of them, in fact. Four of them, in fact. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, that's gonna be interesting. I know it's annoying, it's blocking half the screen. I'm gonna get rid of them. But if you want to kind of remember all your combo strings, this is a good way to do it. All right, special moves. Temporal advantage. I think I've done this before. Yeah, this is the frame one. One thing... Yeah, I remember they said something like... Holy shit, it has so short range. Yeah, it has very short range. Yeah, okay. The one thing you can do... Is you can kind of like build up... Yeah, you can build up a sort of momentum on your opponent. So if you do something like this, and you do two uppercuts, it's gonna pop them up for a full combo. Holy shit. Oh, you can come. Okay. This is gonna be sick. Because it builds the momentum. Let me just try that. Man, already this character is looking very interesting. Uh-huh, and then we can... We'll need to figure out the combo ender. Alright, we'll get back into that. There's the sand trap. 
I'm assuming this doesn't combo off of anything. Oh, it does. Uh, no way to amplify it though. Yeah. It's only a low, so that's okay, but I have a feeling that... Oh no, at least it pops them up. Yeah, okay. So there is no mix-up there. There is no mix-up on whether you're gonna go for the overhead or sand trap. But, there is sort of a mix-up here. I mean, is that a good one? Probably not, because this is this is a high tier 1-1 one, one string. But still, big fist. Holy shit. It's like Jax. Or, well, this is more Tremor-ish. Yeah, they really took a lot from Tremor. Like, this down 4 is the main one. Okay, that's looking fairly decent. It's a high... Safe on block, yeah, super unsafe, super unsafe, mega unsafe, alright, you gotta be careful with him, sand pillar, oh, that's the thing, I've done, I've done this before, okay, so what a, th oh, it's like a setup, doesn't look like you can combo off of it, nah, cause he, yeah, he takes a while to recover from the animation. Alright, so no comboing off of that. That's all good. But... Probably what you can do in the corner... Is get a knockdown. And then with this... I'm assuming it doesn't follow them. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. So this is gonna be a corner thing. You can set it up and it's gonna hit your opponent as they're getting up. All right, he has some interesting, some interesting stuff. What the hell? Stepping it back. Uh, what? He does have this ability on his variation, but... He has like some weird thing going with this. Okay, I have no idea what this does. I do remember them showing something. It's like a reverse time mechanic, isn't it? Maybe if we're getting hit. Uh, let's record Cabal doing something. It doesn't do shit. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get back to that move. He had some, like, grab as well, didn't I do? Didn't I do? Oh, Titan Tackle, that's the one. How did I forget this? He does have a command grab. I knew he did. This one looks kind of cheap. I'm not, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Yeah, it doesn't combo, luckily. Uh, but a full screen tackle, I mean, look at how far it takes him. And then once you have them... Okay, once you have them, you can set up this. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> why do I have a feeling this character is gonna be uh, pretty cheapo? No, I'm saying that in a half-joking sense, of course, you know. It seems very interesting, like, this move alone, I think, has a lot of potential. Oh, does it also reset? Doesn't matter. Hmm, what should I end it in? Probably this. So let's try something very early. I did the wrong thing. I mean, this has massive scaling on it. Wait, what if you... Oh, you can probably do... Can probably do more stuff. You just gotta time it right. Okay, that maybe not this because this has a lot of recovery, but I feel like you can pull it off. Almost. Hmm, but you cannot combo once you do that. 
Yeah, so you gotta commit to... Hmm, it's interesting because it's almost like doing one extra thing pushes them too far away. Whereas if I do this... Yeah. I mean, that does jack shit for damage. But it's an interesting move. Uh, apparently, this guy is not a combo machine. What the hell does this do? Stepping it back. I... I don't know. It doesn't... Nice of them to not include the description with the move, but whatever. Let's go on to his other variation. Luckily, this dude... His non-competitive variations and his competitive variations are the same in terms of moves. So, yeah, no worries on that front. Doesn't look like he has new combo strings. Okay, quicksand. Apparently this is... Holy shit. <laughs> Karate chop this bitch. So functionally the same, except you are... Closer to your opponent, I think, by the end. That can have its advantages because you can do... Because you can do shit like that. Alright, bed of spikes. Mid. Oh, this is the one I remember. No ampli... Yeah, he does have an amplification. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if that's worth... Giving up the actual throw tackle for. Gauntlet of the Ages. Oh, it's a... Uh... Yeah. It's a fucking... What you call it? Stance move. That's a mid though. Plus on block as well. Just depending on... Yeah, it does take a while for it. So... Probably stuff like this wouldn't... Yeah, it wouldn't combo. But still interesting, because we need to look at the cancel. Hmm. Because if you can do stuff like... Uh, like Misery Blade Scorpion. Just gotta get good at... Huh. That's very interesting. Is that it? That's it. Honestly, I kind of like his other variation better, if I can figure out what stepping back does. Just kind of immediately, I think it's not worth giving up the mid, although he might finally have a good combo ender. Yeah, that might be a thing. He's still gonna do ass damage. But maybe this character, again, isn't about combos, he's... He seems to be more about frustrating your opponent, but... These mids, man, these... Oops. Wait, can you? Oh, you can. But that already does more damage than his, like, temporal advantage combo. There's probably so much more you can do. With this. What if I do this? Yeah, okay. Okay. Two uppercuts. I said two uppercuts. Alright. Okay, okay. <laughs> so the uppercut, that's the way to go. Better combo damage. I mean, not amazing, but hey. If you give up a second bar. Nah, still doesn't break 30%, but that's okay. I mean... The thing is, any character that has a move that's this frustrating, yeah, he can get away with shit. Plus, these mids, man. Oh, you, he loses, yeah, he loses the sand pillar. The setup potential. Wait, what's the other one? That's the one. It's in the corner, that's gonna be a, like a tricky thing. I haven't shown his throws yet. What the hell? <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. That's very cool. Man, I'm liking this character. That's the last interesting throw. This one is definitely way better. 
I love how he moves. It's sick. I don't know if there's anything else you can combo that off of. You can do 1-1. One, one. What about... What about just 2? That might also be good. Because his 2 seems... Or back 2 seems so good. Hmm. What the hell does stepping it back do? I'm gonna have to look it up. I'll be back in a second. Alright boys, I'm back and I figured it out. Well, I googled it, I'm gonna be honest with you. So basically, stepping it back allows him to cancel out of uh, basic attacks. Not combo strings, so he cannot do anything off of this, but with this, he can do this. And what this does is it allows for combos that normally wouldn't be possible. The main one I've found is this one with four. So you use stepping it back. And it adds a bit of damage. Now... Shit. Of course it costs meter. Uppercut, uppercut. I mean, just very basic, but hey, we broke 30%. This is a very interesting move. Again, probably... Oh, he can do it off of that. But I think the balance is, is that some moves, like his really quote-unquote cheap moves, leave him too far away. Like, he's not going to be able to yeah, do anything off of that. Even if you do it off of this. See, he's too far away. But out of things like 4, which are kind of highs and all that, he can do a lot of stuff. Probably this is good on block as well. Uh, yeah. It's very interesting. Uh, this character is sick. I'm not gonna lie. And I think this is way better. Uh, than his other variation. Because you can do stuff like... Can you not? Yes, you can. The other one is not able to do that, but oh, he does have the mid. But I think the throw is way more worth it. I mean, look at this throw. Look at how fucking far it carries your opponent. And the throw at the end, like, let's just see. Let's just see. If I go, sort of, not all the way to the corner on the other side, but mostly. Let's see how far we can tackle him. Yeah. Basically, mid-screen, but your opponent is further to the other side of the screen. Holy shit, that's good. I mean, and the thing is, he can capitalize off that because... Wait, how do you do the... There you go. He can do shit like that. So you can do something like... Tackle the fool. And immediately suck him in. Sounds a little bit weird, but... It's just how it is. Oh, and you can... Yep. Huh. Hold on a second. He can combo off of that. I mean, that's gonna be very situational, but... You need to time it right. You need to not, not knock him out of it. That's, that's weird. Probably this is really gonna hit in the corner. Let's go to the... To the right corner and... Just do something like... Set him to stance block. And... Let's do a knockdown. Yeah, because... Depending on how many frames it gives, which is a little dif bit difficult to test. Yeah, that can be super cheap. I mean, these types of moves that are on a delay, if you use them correctly, they can be extremely powerful, like tremors, up rock dots. I know I'm making tremor references left and, left and right, but how can you not with this guy? And what determines when you get the... 
Oh, if he's against the corner. 150. Does it do more damage? It does do more damage. Worth using in the corner for sure. Huh. This is a sick character. I think this move alone makes him kind of badass. Nah, you cannot combo that. But this. And he probably has way more damaging combos, but just initially. Huh. Garrus is cool. He is cool. Is he better than Swamp Thing? He's more interesting. But he still reminds me of Swamp Thing. I don't know why. Even his moves, like... Swamp Thing almost had a similar move like this. Uh, let me just test one more thing. You know what we're testing. There's only one thing left to test. His Fatal Blow. YouTube demonetization. Here I come. Yeah, I remember this. That's badass. Oops. Why well, you better appreciate that, guys. I just got demonetized for you. Uh, if you don't know, YouTube looks for blood. If it sees blood in your videos, it's not advertiser friendly anymore. Wait, what if I do that? Hold on. Speaking of his four. Oh, then you have to do the far one. Hold on a second. There's still testing left to do. Three twenty-seven versus if I do. If I don't screw up the combo. Three twenty. So that other one is definitely more worth it. I mean, anytime you can add a few extra percent. Percent, I said that weird. It's worth. It's worth doing. I mean, you always wanna maximize damage. And of course, doing two uppercuts might not be the most efficient thing, but hey, it's all I got so far. So this has been the quick look slash in the lab video for Garas. He is, I'm liking him. I think I am going to try this character online. Right now, again, I messed around with Shao Kahn a little bit uh, online. I don't think he's that good, but maybe it's just the Discord tech waiting to be discovered. But yeah, I've mainly been playing Scorpion. And he's fun, but hey, if there's a new character, well, you gotta try the new characters, don't you? And this guy, this guy is certainly very creative. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Stick around for more MK11 videos because there's plenty more coming. So thanks for watching and see all of you next time. Goodbye.